Hey guys, and welcome to another Walk-In Wednesday. You know, every, uh, every week we have stuff come in, but we like to do a video on Wednesdays just saying, hey, look, look what came in this week. So this week I have a, hung a Nazi Hungarian femoral. And I want to talk about this gun because I think it really gets no respect. It's one of those guns that people have underestimated in the collector community. It just gets no respect. No respect. No respect from anyone. Now, watching Rodney Dangerfield kind of dates me a little bit, but I have a feeling that some of you know exactly who he is. So this gun was, I mentioned, uh, it was in a Hungarian femoral. Uh, maybe you've seen them before. Um, and it, they did have a Nazi contract in 1941 and 1943 that went to the Luftwaffe. I'm going to say more about that. Uh, the Hungarians made it uh, starting, well, the patent date is 1937. In fact, it's called the Model 1937. Here you see a picture of a Hungarian femoral uh, issued to the Hungarian army. They do come up in the United States uh, for sale quite a bit. I see them on Gunbroker, uh, and they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, for the make and model and the design of this gun, I think they're a great bargain because they shoot great. Hungarian ones were made in 380 or 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter short. They were issued, as I said, to the Hungarian army. So the patent date is 1937, but they actually made femurus um, all the way up to 1945, the end of the war. The Russians came in and, and uh, brought in their own handguns, did away with the femuru. So let's take a look at what was happening in Hungary and why they would have gotten a Nazi contract. Uh, after the Great Depression, all of Europe was devastated, including Germany and France, uh, and, and Hungary was certainly devastated along with the rest of Europe. They're, of course, in Eastern Europe. If you look at a map here, you can see how they're strategically right in the middle of everything for World War II and the Nazi Empire. But what happened was they were turning, uh, after the Great Depression, they sought trade with Italy and Germany. Those were the two economies that were recovering most quickly. And of course, that became the, the Axis powers. Most people don't know that Hungary actually joined the Axis, uh, the Axis League. Uh, so they were, they were promoting trade with Germany and Italy in particular, trying to sell goods back and forth, and really chose sides by saying, we side with Hitler. They saw um, Hitler as a rising star and Mussolini, and so the prime minister there at that time, there were several prime ministers throughout the war period, um, but the prime minister at that time said, hey, we're going we're gonna, to um, join the sides of Hitler and Mussolini because they're rising stars. And I think they're really going places. So they jumped on that bandwagon, which at the time seemed like a really good idea. So part of the trade that they promoted was they wanted to sell these to the Nazis. So in 1941, uh, and you can see on this particular pistol, JHV-41, uh, the Nazis added the JHV. This was a, a country code, the date, which is what the Nazis wanted on it. And the biggest change was it was changed to 32 caliber, 7.65. And that was because German small arms were already being made in 7.65, so they wanted to fit in with that group of guns. You can see the Nazi proofs on this gun, um, and 30,000 of them were ordered, all of them for the Luftwaffe. So here's the thing. We know that all of these guns went to the Luftwaffe. This wasn't an occupation of the factory. Uh, a lot of times we say the factory was uh, uh, occupied and the Nazis took over. They didn't. It was a treaty. They joined forces with Hitler and they promoted trade and they got a contract in exchange. So they contracted for these pistols. Um, I think the design of these pistols are remarkable. In fact, it reminds me, it's a lot like the action of a 1911 Colt, but a mini Colt. How about the, the 1903 Colt? They're very similar. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I think this design is actually even better. For you Colt lovers out there, I apologize, but I have a hard time taking this thing apart. Not a hard time, but it's a little complicated. Let me show you how easy it is to take the barrel out. Just pull it back to the first notch. There it is, okay? We're clicked on the first notch. Now watch this, magic. You twist it up, pulls out. Let's do that again. There's the barrel. All you do, take it to the first notch, Twist it, pull out, there's, there's the barrel, and drop that lever, the whole gun comes apart. Isn't that cool? I think this is a beautiful design and simple enough for even me to take down easily. So I mentioned that the, the Nazis added the date and their Waffen stamp. Uh, they also added this uh, safety lever. 
you can see on the original femoro does not have that safety lever. So when the, the pistol is cocked, it just pops up. That's an additional safety. It also has a grip safety, uh, which again, the Colt design does not have. So I, I, I mentioned how much I like this. I hope I'm not going on and on too much, but it shoots great. It's a great little pistol and relatively inexpensive. Uh, let me, I usually don't do pricing here, um, but I just want to give you a comparison. So you can find the uh, Hungarian uh, Femaru for like $400, $450 on Gunbroker. I find them all the time. Uh, again, they were made uh, between 1938 and 1945. Uh, the Nazi ones, um, they actually sell for a lot more because they went to the Luftwaffe and anything Nazi has a premium. So this gun with one magazine is going to be probably $1,000, maybe a little bit under. And you compare that with other guns that we know went to the Luftwaffe, the Kriegoff, we know went to the Luftwaffe, and they sell between five dollars and $10,000. There's also PPs and PPKs that we know went to the Luftwaffe. I did a video on that. How do you know whether or not it went to the Luftwaffe? There's, there's an explanation there by serial number. Uh, those guns easily sell in the twenty-five dollars to $3,500 range. And yet this one, we know for a fact it went to the Luftwaffe, and uh, you can pick it up fairly cheaply. So for a new collector, it's a great place to start. I think they can only go up in value, and it's a great gun to shoot. They, they normally come in these holsters. Um, th these holsters are called dropping holsters. I don't know why. I just dropped mine, so maybe that's why. And you can see inside it has the Model 37. It has the caliber on the back. Uh, you can see this little... Luftwaffe, that's a Luftwaffe proof, uh, the L2, what they call the Eagle L2 proof. There's a little two under there. So that's a Luftwaffe proof. It's dated 1942. Gun was made in 1941. So 30,000 of these went to Luftwaffe. And if that's not cool enough for you, check this out. Sometimes you'll find them in these tropical holsters. Again, you look at the back and you will see the date, 1941. That was the date of the contract. There's the Luftwaffe proof on the back. Um, the ones with the tropical belt, they went to the Africa Corps. Um, and so they look like Africa Corps gear. Um, this one went to the Africa Corps, issued to a pilot in the Africa Corps. Very cool rig. And again, gets no respect. <laughs> um, here is one of my favorite holsters. I put this in my safe and I just pulled it out for you to see. This is unissued condition. You can see that it's not even creased. Look at the back of this thing. It's never, it's not even, I don't even want to shut it because this thing was never used, never issued, and uh, you can see the Luftwaffe proof on the back, and it is 1941 dated. So, back to the gun. 30,000 of them in 1941. They were very much loved by the pilots. I guess the pilots are like me. They're thinking, this, this is a great gun. And uh, so they came back in 43, and they ordered 60,000 more. Now, as it turns out, only 30,000 were made in 43 because, again, the war was beginning to wind down. The Russians are coming. Available men to put men in, or women uh, to put these guns together were lacking. So 30,000 in 41, 30,000 in, in 43. The 43, you'll see a picture of one here. Uh, the only change is the finish is degraded a little bit. The 41 has a higher polish finish. The 43 is a little bit duller, but it works exactly the same. Again, very simple to use. A, a nice little pistol that we know went to the Luftwaffe. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Tell your friends about our channel. If you're like me and you can't get enough of this stuff, click here to subscribe. That way we'll send you notification when we do something new. Or click one of these buttons for recommended videos.